Hey, what's up everyone? It's me, Bill. We're bringing you guys a quick look at the new 4.3 dungeon, Hour of Twilight. Uh, before I start though, I wanted to show you guys how I heal. Some people on my friends list wanted to know. But uh, right here I'm showing you guys macros. These macros are called mouse overs. You can see, look, they don't work unless my cursor right there is over. And you can see when I put my cursor over my portrait, my character gets a slight highlight. And all of a sudden it works. That's funny how that works. It's called a mouse over, isn't it? Wow. I know it's a crazy concept. But what that does is it, it makes healing so easy because you don't have to click from target to move to move to target to target to move. And back and forth. I can just keep my mouse in one spot and constantly heal them. But you see, I get my cue right there. And I'll be talking to you guys once I get inside that cue. I'll see you then. Okay guys, I'm back. I know you missed me for that brief couple seconds, but now we're in the dungeon, the Hour of Twilight, and it's pretty simple in the beginning. In the beginning, it is retardedly easy. It's just simple trash pulls, you know, thralls there. He helps heal himself, I think, and he helps DPS. He's got about 5 million health, so it's not like you really have to watch him. I said to focus on him anyways, even though you can't even heal him. But with mouse, mouse, mouth of earth, with mouse overs, I don't think you can. But, you know, just surprise mobs that come out of nowhere trying to keep you on your toes. It's, it's really quite simple. And, like, once you clear, what, three, three, four mobs, three mobs, you're already at the first boss. And the first boss I'll be explaining once we get there. Oop, there he is. He or she, I don't even know. But this boss is super easy. Don't stand in the shit on the ground. I do it a couple times, but he gets once he gets to 15%, you'll see what he does. And it makes him... A very annoying boss. It's it's pretty easy since we're all in the 378 Firelands gear, but <clears throat> I can't I couldn't imagine this for the the slow or the, the not the slow what the f the the low gear requirement that you're probably gonna need to get into this dungeon. You see right here we have so much DPS from all the gear and it just makes dungeons so easy. And right here I think he goes yeah he goes into Uber mode soon. And what he does is he he hits everybody in the party for, I think, 16k every half second or every second. And this is pretty much just a burn phase. You want to use everything you got to kill him before at least someone gets to have health. Uh, this is actually my first time healing, believe it or not. But, well, first time healing an 85 heroic or ever being in this dungeon, let alone. Which is pretty good, if you ask me. Uh, right here, you just go on a weird scenic route. I sped the shit up out of this thing. Because this was about f six minutes. Not six minutes. Maybe four minutes of just uh, walking around looking at all the scenery. And once you get to this next part, that's right about now. This is where it gets uh, pretty hard. Uh, you see those mobs down there that just stealth? They're assassins. That first mob isn't anything too special. But once once you get to that next mob, oh my god. I'm not sure if I was healing wrong, what I was doing, but people were just dropping so fast and I had to spam healing touch. Which I'm not even sure that's what I'm supposed to be doing because I never even got a druid with healing touch yet, which is pretty bad, guys. Pretty bad. So while we're sitting here and waiting, uh, what do you guys think about WoW gameplay? Do you guys even like it? I hope you do, because I'll be posting more anyways once 4.3 comes out. Because this is the PTR. PTR means public test realm, for you guys that don't know. It's just, it's pretty much the beta for patches, so you can test them out and see all the glitches. Right here, there's here's one of the glitches. Thrall seems to run off after we're done attacking for some reason. And he, he gets hurt pretty bad, but these mobs right here is what I was talking about. You'll see, oh yeah, that totem, sorry for interrupting myself, that totem, all the deeps in the tanks, they, you want to, everyone needs to stand in this totem. It eventually increases your health by 30 or 50%. Yeah, I see Thrall running away, you bitch. But, uh, yeah, a bunch of people's health getting pretty low because you're supposed to stand in this totem because this totem gives you 50% health and damage, I'm pretty sure. So it's not something you, you don't want to be standing in. Like the Warlock probably should have came down and helped AoE or some shit, I don't even know. But uh, right about now we're doing pretty good because there's only one left and that's just simple. It's only one. No, nothing nothing too special. And this dungeon is actually quite fast. I can't tell if it's our gear or experience. I, I can't even tell. But you see, once we fight this... Sorry, hold on. <coughs> 
once you fight this next little mob right here, there's one more. Frap seems to cut out on me. It's it's really weird. I don't know why I did it. But it, the video just... The audio was there, but the video wasn't. But right here, it's skip. It should skip. Yep, right to the boss. The boss is pretty easy. She does a weird targeting thing where she randomly throws a uh, knife at you. And it, it will silence you for three seconds and do 12k damage, I think. And it kind of sucks, but... uh. Otherwise, stand in the totems, and she eventually puts a smoke bomb down. She does it a couple times in the fight. And what you want to move... What, oh, sorry, tank. But tanks, what you want to do is you want to be kiting her out of the smoke bombs. When you're in the smoke bombs, healers and ranged DPS cannot do anything. And it makes the fight a lot more complicated than... Complicated? -er? Complicated horror. Com more complicated than it should be, because it's just really a tank and spank move boss, and... It's pretty fucking easy mode, if you do ask me. Uh, we down her pretty fast. I'm guessing it's because of our gear. I have no idea. But, uh, yeah. I, I really like these new dungeons. They are, they are really cool. They really bring new shit to the table. Like, uh, some bosses have new mechanics. You'll see the end boss. I don't think I've ever seen a boss like that. And right here, Thrall jumps on a dragon. Yeah, we're, we're going to be riding dragons. If, as if it couldn't get any more weirder. What is it? Alright, now that we're on the dragons, and it's pretty sped up, it's another scenic route that normally happens in the game, just showing you guys what happened to the Vermis Temple. Uh, eventually you fight these mobs, uh, again, tank and spank, pretty easy, they're pretty obvious where the mobs come out of too. Giant ass smoke clouds, it's pretty, like I said, obvious, look at that, boom. I walk right past it though, because you know, I'm Bill Roy and I'm a fucking retard. So, uh, they're pretty easy, they just do a weird AoE, Shadow Bolt volley sort of thing where it just hits everyone in the party nothing too special but i'm, I'm not too sure about these mobs actually because they do put debuffs on targets and i'm not even i wasn't really sure what i was supposed to do so i didn't really do anything but heal because that's what i do when i'm a freaking boss other than that you know you fight three mobs again which is kind of weird i just noticed that pattern you fight three mobs the first time boss three mobs in that second time boss and now we're going to fight three more mobs, and we're going to go right to the final boss. Uh, I'll see you guys back there once we are done clearing out the trash. Alrighty then, the boss is about to begin. This is a very weird boss. Uh, the boss fight really didn't make too much sense to me. So I kind of just healed my ass through it. And uh, a couple of people get it pretty pretty low because, again, like I said, I have no goddamn idea what I'm doing. Uh, you'll, you'll see me. I, I'm pretty sure I screw up at the end because everyone starts taking mad damage, bruh. And it almost wipes us, but I pull through. I think I use Tree of Life and Zerking. Which is an amazing combo, by the way, guys. That's like 20% haste and retardedly increased healing. It's it's awesome. You combine that with Tranquility. Mm. Tranquility is my AoE heal, by the way. Oh, uh, we're supposed to be cleansing, too. You see, uh, it says Thrall starts cleansing because I didn't even have cleanse on my bar because I'm an idiot. Look at that. Oh, my God. Tranquility, you're so amazing. But, yeah. He starts cleansing because I forgot to even put cleanse on my bar. But, apparently, you're supposed to. And I'm a big old retard again giant flame didn't even notice it i didn't get hit by it though i somehow avoided that shit but then boom you see this part watch everyone will start taking pretty good damage and i kind of i kind of just you know heal my way through it no skill involved just spamming keeping keeping everyone up you know the good stuff there's tree of life form this shit rapes so hard instant castle growth yeah right about here all I'm doing is I'm just spamming regrowth, that instant cast regrowth, because I, I there was nothing else to do. I didn't I didn't have I didn't even have enough time to cast healing touch. 
I just had to keep her growth in and keep her growth in and keep her growth in. And that's that's pretty much the dungeon, guys. I hope you guys really did like it. Uh, if you would, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll be bringing you guys some more. See you guys.